Hey, man. What's up? Uh, have you ever heard of the Battle of Los Angeles? Well, no. Good. The Battle of Los Angeles? The Battle of Los Angeles. The Battle okay. of Los Angeles. Which war did it take place in? Uh, well, for... Which... Wait, well, is that a Call of Duty game? No. Call of Duty, Battle of Los Angeles. <laughs> it's like it they teamed kinda... up with... What's the town in uh, uh, Grand Theft Auto, San and Andreas? Yeah, yeah. San Antonio. <laughs> Hey guys, we made a, <laughs> we a fictional town in San hey guys, Antonio. Grand Theft Auto, Springfield, Missouri. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm like, wow, they made this super realistic. This is, I just just yeah. like Springfield. I just saw a drug deal at that Conoco <laughs> over there. Where there's a drug deal happening in the game. <laughs> it, that's so realistic that drug deals happening in real life will happen in the game at the same time. They've got satellites. That well, honestly, there. it's all a game. You know, isn't it? You know. <laughs> This is like we're all in Matrix. virtual reality right now. <laughs> Wouldn't that suck if uh, you were a virtual reality and that's the body they gave you? <laughs> 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 like it could be. Just be Like it's computerized, it's it's all made up, <laughs> and they gave you that. Like you could have done anything here. Yeah, I'm satisfied. Um, so the Battle of Los Angeles. <laughs> there's yes. a few things with the real name. battle. Well, I mean, it depends who you ask. Oh if my you ask gosh. some people, they would tell you this is a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament, isn't it? <laughs> 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 like, like the Battle of Los Angeles was a 2003 competition featuring the world's best Yu-Gi-Oh players <laughs> all gathered in Los Angeles for the Battle of Los Angeles. Do they even call them battles? I don't even remember. They call them duels. Ah, you're right. I'm dumb. Du 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 is there a game they call them battles? Is it is it Pokemon. duels and Pokemon as well? Pokemon is battles. Oh, God. Okay. Um, anyways, uh, so there's a few things called the Battle of Los Angeles. Yeah. Um, if you ask a fan of the Rage Against the Machine, they would tell you it's an album by the band Rage Against the Machine because they have an album called Battle of Los Angeles. I'm glad you really <laughs> overclarified <laughs> that really one. I really spelled that out for you. Uh, My favorite thing about Rage Against the Machine was when they would walk out on stage and they'd be like, ah, and they'd all circle around the <laughs> drum kit and <laughs> pray before. They didn't pray. They didn't do that. I'll tell you for a fact, they didn't pray. Yeah. Um, well, that's judging their heart. Well, n no, I know. <laughs> um, <laughs> I know those guys personally. Uh, yeah. They, I'm a good personal friend of I'm the bass player <laughs> from Five Figure Death Punch. <laughs> he actually taught Chris, me how to play bass growing up. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Chris Gale actually does follow me on all the social medias. He's a good guy. Okay. We, um, I want to have him when they don't bite pretty bad, mostly because his beard looks like that guy from Pirates of the Caribbean. You know, like Davy Jones. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, You're it's like, incredible. Oh gosh, wow. Um, well, anyways, another battle of Los Angeles. Okay. Um, you, if you ask someone who is a fan of independent professional wrestling, they might tell you that it's an annual wrestling tournament to put on by this the, year at Battle of Los Angeles. Yeah. It's the Hulk versus DB Cooper. Yeah. Well, these guys, they don't give the and themselves crazy oh, names. Okay. So there's AJ Styles. Chris AJ Daniels, Styles is like a good name. Brian Danielson. AJ Styles sounds like Here's he made one. fun of me in high school. <clears throat> he does. AJ Styles sounds like he's in like a 2008 scene metal band. Yeah. He like paints the, his eyes like out right all the way out to here. AJ Styles sounds like he plays an acoustic guitar as a solo act, but <laughs> still goes by like uh, the Cinderella Project. <laughs> <laughs> Like that's who AJ Styles sounds like. He's got spiked up hair. His agent came back to him and was like, "So legally, we're not allowed to call you a band, um, right? We, we've came up with these options." But he's like, "It's me and all of my other personalities." <laughs> and they're like, "All right, AJ." Um, AJ Styles looks like the bad guy in every Disney movie. That also is true. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I stand corrected. 
that you well, sit corrected. You're right. I, I sit corrected. I'm looking at um, uh, Show me the tournament the winners, oh, okay. the tournament winners, and um, the wrestlers for many years had regular names. Um, but then uh, there's a couple in recent years. Um, in 2017, Ricochet won. Um, yeah. <laughs> and then in. What would your wrestler name be? <clears throat> Dragon Gate. <laughs> I stole that from this article. You just read it off the thing. <laughs> Mine would be Ricochet. Uh, <laughs> Mine would be AJ Styles. <laughs> uh, and then, oh my gosh, in in t- 2019, it was Bandito. And Bandito is like, this is straight up freaking... Nacho Libre. Oh, yes. <laughs> but nobody else in the rest of the wrestling tournament has ever looked like that or dressed like well, that. Well, I mean, underground wrestling is like a real, especially in LA, it's a real thing. It's, you a, know? it's a serious thing. Well, I mean, there's that guy that on Twitter, uh, I forget his name, but he does the, uh, like he jumps onto glass. We've sent each other videos of him before. You know what I'm talking about? No. He you haven't seen that? Glass? Yeah. His name is, um, uh, 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 <clears throat> Oh man, what is his name? But like he like literally has like barbed wire, like a a, a wheelbarrow of barbed wire. What? And then we'll be like, uh, this is for all the gigolos and gigolettes. You know what I'm saying? What? I've shown you this guy's I don't have my phone on me. Gosh dang, what is his name? I'm so confused. I'll show you the videos later. But he like literally front flips into barbed wire. Or like front flip he started like front flipping onto Legos. And it just Oh, I think I yeah. In his backyard. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. And he just yep. Yeah. But he's like a he's like a do you call it minor league? Minor league minor federation. Minor uh, federation. <laughs> 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 you know. The WMF <laughs> World No, that's just kidding. It would be uh ML W F Minor oh. League Wrestling Federation. Yeah. It's not even that. Like, He's like on a double A team, you know? Not even. It's like. Um, it's a lot of like what the Dudley brothers did. You familiar with the Dudley brothers? Are they like the Ringling brothers? They're more like the Wright brothers. <laughs> they flew? Yes. <laughs> From the top of the cage down to the floor mat. <laughs> so. Okay. So the Battle of Los Angeles could be a Rage Against the Machine album. Mm-hmm. Something to do with wrestling. Something you never clarified. Wrestling. Yeah. Well, the their annual the tournament. tournament in okay. LA is called the Battle of Los Angeles. That's like their big. When does tournament. it take place? Um, let me double check. Because I'm going to be out there year. next week. <laughs> and if this is a thing, I'm going to go. We'll be there. Um, the Battle of Los Angeles is well. They've already had had it happen in 2019. So you're probably going to have to wait till 2020. I will. <laughs> <laughs> Where can I buy merch? <laughs> Looks like it's in September. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> Anyways, um, if you ask fans of film, they might tell you that it was a 2011 movie that got a 36% on Rotten Tomatoes. Um, so they would probably tell you that it is a 2011 movie that was not good. Um, well, 30%, 36%. I've seen worse. Uh, uh, did, would you say that worse is good? Sometimes. What did Hot Rod get on Rotten Tomatoes? That's a great question. Hot Rod is a legendary movie. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see what Rod and Tomatoes I'm going to guess think. less than 50. 39%. All right. See? Well, okay. Rod and Tomatoes has lost all of my respect. What did One. What did Nacho Libre get? Nacho Libre. Here's what. I'm, I've got a hot take on Nacho Libre. You're not a fan. No. I am a fan. Okay. But I don't think the movie is entertaining to watch. I don't like watching it. It's entertaining to quote. It is great to It's quote. a quotable 40%. movie. 40%. Forty percent. Okay, yeah. so Rotten Tomatoes uh, doesn't know what the heck they're talking about. Yeah, we've just established that. So maybe Battle of Los Angeles is a great movie. We should watch it um, right now. Actually, let's just pause. <laughs> let's just <laughs> oh, come Turn back. reacts to Battle of Los Angeles. This is a pretty bad movie. That was pretty <laughs> rough. That was pretty bad. Um, but yeah, so the that movie is like it's this big it it was what was really hot in like 2011 where the end of the world just kept happening in movies oh um, yeah so the aliens Are there invaded and, oh, no aliens. aliens invaded blew up los angeles um was what that movie was um but i had never seen it kind of want to watch it though yeah 
Um, but if you ask history buffs, they would tell you they've never heard of it because nobody tells you about the Battle of Los Angeles. But it's a real thing. <laughs> Here, this is another one of those historical events, like the Black Tom Island, that for some reason has just been forgotten and they yeah. don't teach you about it. But it's a legitimate battle that happened in Los Angeles. We did get some YouTube comments from people who were like, oh, I knew about it. And oh I responded, shut up, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> like, oh, you're saying that no one's ever heard about this? <laughs> and I was like, all right. <laughs> I put them in their place for you, Tim. Don't worry. I got your back. Yeah. All right, great. Well, here's another one that they they probably have heard of. Those, they they know about. Those, that's got they, yeah. <laughs> as soon as you said, as soon as you said Battle of Los Angeles, they went, okay, people are going to think it's a Rage Against the Machine album, but it's actually... <laughs> And they, they, it's actually this. Yeah. So this was, this is actually really interesting. So if you're one of those nerds (laughs) and you already know about this, just go to a different video. (laughs) Uh, So in, uh, on February 25th, 1942. Okay. Three months after 1942. Yeah. Okay. Three months after the attack on Pearl Harbor, 52 years before I was born. (laughs) What? How many years is that before 1962? Two? Is it 62? 20? Did you say 62? 65? 63? What year is it? What did you just say? <laughs> what year is it? <laughs> 42 <laughs> to 94. No, 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 no. I'm talking about 65. I think it's 65. Maybe it's 62. What year is it? <laughs> right now it's 2019. What are you? That's not what I'm talking about. Okay. 60. It, whatever. Forget about 61 it. 61 was the one, the year you're looking for. Thank you. 61. So 19 years before. 1961. Got it. Now we know when we're now we know. Yeah, 1961 is our reference point. (laughs) Okay, so February 25th, 1942. Do you know why I made that joke? Because it because your birthday is February 24th. My birthday is when February 25th. (laughs) When's my birthday? February. I stand by February 25th. I stand by you. Stand by it. Stand by me. Stand by. What, are you going to Google my birthday? Is that what you just did? Yeah. What are you doing? I. Hold on a second. I know your birthday. When is it? May 13th. Wrong. No, it's not. Wrong. Wrong. No, it's not. Wrong. <laughs> no, it's not. 31st. February 31st. <laughs> Yeah, that was a joke. That was funny. I, I don't know. I couldn't tell. I think you played it off pretty well, but I think initially when you said it, <laughs> <laughs> I think the first time you said it, you were pretty serious and then you, it came out of your mouth and you went, oh no, and you tried to play it off as a joke, you know? You know, like when you you present a dumb idea to a friend and like they don't like it, so you got to pretend you were joking. Yeah. You're like, dude, we should go like. You, you know, we should go like paint some cows and then let them loose and then just be like, oh, Red Bulls are everywhere, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, that's what Red Bulls are about, isn't that? And your friends are like, that's stupid. And you're like, I was kidding. That was just <laughs> was, a joke, guys. That's <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> stupid. That's oh, man. Yeah, that's what you I don't mean. know my birthday? February. Now let's just move on. I guess. It's the 23rd, 20, 22nd, 20, You're just taking, 24, 23rd, taking jabs. 23rd. You're just, it's when? As long as you get the ballpark these days, that's all that matters. Because it's going to take a couple of days for Amazon to get there. It literally won't. Amazon <laughs> will get there the same day. You don't even get like you don't even get a window anymore. It's February twenty third, Tim. I was close. Okay, I was close. Facebook would have told me. I would have already bought the gift yeah. by then. And then yeah. Facebook would have been like, "Hey, it's his birthday today." And then Man, like, great, we're I going just, out this weekend. I just love that Facebook has to remind you of things. You know, it's just the best. How many people do you actually know their birthday? Like the actual day, not just like like you have a ballpark of a lot, but like how many people do you like? I know the exact day. Um, I can think of like three in my life. Three people. Yeah. You can think of three people you know their birthday. Yeah. I can think of at least probably 10. Uh, okay, let me think for a second. Alex, September 26th. <laughs> no, no, no. I just needed you to say yes. I really needed you to come through on that one. I don't know your... <laughs> Why did you not? Why did you do that? <laughs> Alex, that was clearly that was clearly that was clearly a I need solidarity here. 
And he just went, <laughs> why no, did you do wrong. that? Why are you on Tim's side? <laughs> He's on the side of people who you don't know. Their How birthday. many birthdays do you know? Okay. <laughs> See, I know probably 10. You don't need to know anymore. I know is my yours. point. Is my point. You Who's don't do you need know? to know. I know Breeze. Oh, cool. That's fine. I know my brothers. Ooh. And I know, actually, I know her dad's because it's the same as my brothers. Um, <laughs> and then I know my mom's. Do you know your dad's birthday? I, you can take a I guess? can ballpark it. <laughs> Yeah, that's my point. You don't need to know anymore. You got calendars. You got Facebook. You, as long as you know the general area of the birthday. Well, fine. yeah, I know they're gonna have a birthday this year, so oh that's gosh. you know, that's all I really need to know. <laughs> Let's move on. I guess. <laughs> okay. Anyways, so the Battle of Los Angeles. Are you gonna? Just, are you just gonna pout the rest I'm of this? I'm just. Episode? I mean, you know, I'm hurt. You yeah. know, let me experience my emotions. You know, okay. don't shame me. <laughs> All right, I have yet to see my counselor about this, so <laughs> I haven't got to process this information. I just thought we were friends, dude. We are. Okay. I, I mean, I only just, know just, my friend Lauren's birthday because it's like her Twitter handle. <laughs> fair. Fair. Um, oh man. Anyways, so ah, dang it, dude! I didn't say anything. I know, I know. Anyway, so okay, whatever, man. You can honestly just bleed the words together. Just be like, anyway, so anyways, so anyways, see, and now so, there you go. Anyways, so um, <laughs> sounds like a dish that you would get at like a like a hip Italian restaurant. Like anyways, so. anyways, so. <laughs> And they'd be like, ah, they're coming right up or something, or whatever they say. <laughs> you could have it any way you want. They say, do you want the breadsticks? Or... <laughs> they write their name upside down on the table. It's a thing. It's a thing. It's a, it's a place. Um, so, anyways, the. Yeah. So. Uh, you go there on your birthday. <laughs> oh, my God. You get a free meal on your birthday. Whenever that is. <laughs> they don't ask you for the actual day. They just ask you to ballpark it. So, if you're within like three days, either direction, you're fine. Got it. Yeah. that's It's one of the things. Uh, <laughs> that's why I felt about your wedding. That's why I wasn't there. Because I was like, I mean, if it's like, you know, in the ballpark, I know it's supposed to be on this day, but, you know. But I mean, I'm within three days. I couldn't really remember. So I'm close. <laughs> I was there when you were born. I just, <laughs> every other one after that, I've been in the ballpark. <laughs> I know we have the same birthday, but uh, it's just really hard to keep track these days, you know? Like, I know we're twins, but come on. Like the expectation's pretty high here. How am I supposed to remember Cut me some that? Come slack, dude. <laughs> it, all right. So, the Battle of Los Angeles uh on February 25th, 1942. What there were uh a, there was a Japanese air raid. This this was this was 3 months after Pearl Harbor. Okay. So, this Japanese air raid of the city of Los Angeles um prompted the prompted the citywide blackout um and then Artillery was had been positioned all over L.A. because after uh, Pearl Harbor, people were very worried that they were going to do it again somewhere on the West Coast. So there was all these artillery um, batteries set up all over the West Coast. And over the course of uh, about an hour and a half, over 1,400 artillery shells were shot into the sky, uh, countless 50 caliber machine gun rounds. Um, and eyewitnesses claimed they had spotted uh, multiple eyewitnesses uh, reported seeing over 200 Japanese planes flying over Los Angeles. Uh, it, miraculously, there's only five casualties reported from uh, the event. Okay. Which So it's, it, it's a pretty large-scale attack on American soil, but for some reason... They had tanks out there shooting in the sky? No, it was uh, artillery batteries. So remember that okay. cannon we stopped at and... Yeah. Those those things, um, and so those were just unloading. I stuff. actually knew this uh, because there's a place in L.A. It's a coffee shop that now yeah. they just serve the coffee out of that artillery cannon. <laughs> so that makes shells. sense of why that's there. They're like we got all these shells from the Battle of Los Angeles. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. So we repurpose them. It's very green. Yeah, I mean, it, which ironically, at that time the shells were given the green light to fire. So that it. It all, it all makes sense. Yeah. The shot's called green light. Um, yeah. 
It's very clever. Greenlight Coffee, an official sponsor of things I learned last night. In Japan. In Japan. <laughs> We got a really big fan base, so <laughs> um, we have more fans not in the U.S. than in the U.S. But here's here here's the interesting thing about the Battle of Los Angeles. Yeah, uh, multiple eyewitness reports claim seeing over 200 Japanese planes in the sky that night. Over 1,400 shells were fired, or like anti-aircraft shells, yeah. were fired into the sky that night, and no planes were hit. No planes. Uh, just were really at, bad at, at <laughs> yeah. shooting. Yeah, I guess. Um, also, there was no damage in LA at all from any enemy ordinance. There's no bombs drop. No. So this is a lot like. Me. Now I think that they weren't Japanese planes. All right. Yeah. They were either large owls. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Hear me out. It's a or flock of two hundred large owls. <laughs> large owls <laughs> over, <laughs> and they hit two places. All right, they hit L.A. and Hopkinsville, Kentucky. <laughs> all right, and people were just shooting in the air. All right, and then when the police show up, zero evidence. You know, this is starting to make a lot of sense. This is starting to make a lot of sense. Um, no, but there, there were. To be fair, there were a couple reports of downed aircraft. About five reports, um, but none of them have ever been quantified. Uh, like a- everyone says, okay. that, yeah, these aren't legitimate um, uh, reports. Uh, for example, there was one newspaper that said that there was a, a Japanese fighter jet that had crashed in on Hollywood Boulevard, um, but, but nobody. But like, people can't find the handprints. In this. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that that's the thing that gets me is like I was like <laughs> LA is a pretty large city with a lot of people in it. And Hollywood Boulevard's a, a pretty like yeah. you know, everyone knows where that is. And so I think back to remember when that plane crashed at Evangel? Um were you there that year? Oh yeah, in the airfield over there. Yeah. No, like literally in the neighborhood right next door. Oh, I don't think I, re- I remember that. Yeah, there there was you might it might have been after you left, but there was one day it was like probably like ten o'clock at night. And this like little Cessna jet just crashed in that neighborhood. Right. I remember. Yes, I do remember that happening because it was trying to land at the airfield <clears throat> next to it. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it like it like hit a couple trees. It was really lucky. It was fine. But everybody at Evangel was like, "Well, I'm gonna go look at that plane." Yeah. Um, and so I feel like you would do the same thing if like a Japanese fighter jet crashed on Hollywood Boulevard. You're like, "Well, I want to go see that." Um, yeah. But nobody did. So I it's I think it's safe to say but the amount of least, tourists in L.A. Yeah, I'd go look. Yeah. They actually made that's it a, a new stop tour. on the bus tour. <laughs> like they started to reroute. That's, I mean, that's a great thing. Like that's that's another great point. I mean, you think of Pearl Harbor. Like there's stops on the tours where you're looking at um, all the damage from it. Like of course Hollywood Boulevard will be like, yeah, save that. Uh, we're keeping that for the tour. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but they didn't. And so there's a couple couple cases where people are reporting those things, but all of them were um, like not legitimate, uh, and the military sure. dismissed them later that same day. Uh, it was like. Over an hour in the middle of the night, about three o'clock in the morning was when it started. It went until dawn um, of the firing. So just this little, very long barrage. Of but just, people obviously remember the sound of the firing. <clears throat> oh yeah, big time. Um, big time. <laughs> big time. <laughs> okay. Do you remember that? Oh yeah, big time. <laughs> that was common slang in the forties. Hey grandpa, grandpa, you remember the Battle of Los Angeles? Yeah. Oh, big time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh man, that war. That was big time hard, you know. That was a tough time. Man. That sucked big time. That's actually if you go down to the World War II Memorial, some of the quotes from the soldiers are on the wall. And like some of them are like, I miss my family big time. <laughs> You know, that's like what they wrote home. You can see their their pinned letters, and it's full of sorrow and this. Like I've watched my friends be killed and all these things, and it's very sad. And at the end, it just says, uh, "I love you, big time." I love you, big time. <laughs> You're right. That is. It was common. Um, oh yeah, big time. <laughs> <laughs> Well, here's the thing. So I, 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 I mentioned 
our our five casualties. But I, I said that the Japanese never did anything. Yeah. And there was no like evidence of crashes. So these casualties were actually two heart attacks from the stress of <clears throat> the just the the constant onslaught of thinking yeah. they're being attacked by the Japanese. Um, and then three people got in car accidents because it was a blackout. They turned off all the city lights and like it's obviously chaos. And so there's three different car accidents that people died in. Um, which why you would decide to go drive out during that doesn't, well, I mean, I heard a plane crash on Hollywood <laughs> Boulevard. Obviously, I'm going to go, go look. look. <laughs> yeah. Um, but then again, like that is like that's exciting. That's like about big time <laughs> exciting. You know, you think about those guys who like a tornado touches down and they're like, I'm gonna oh, go yeah, see if like storm chasers. It. Yeah, Bro, let's like, go. this is so much better than a tornado. Get in the car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to find these planes. Get in the storm vehicle. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so the, uh, three people died in car accidents. Uh, and, and anyways, later so none on, of the casualties were actually uh, as a result of combat. Yeah, they were all um, loosely tied to what was actually happening that night. Yeah, and so the Navy came out with a, a response a few hours after the attack, the same day as as the attack. Okay, and what they said was there was no Japanese planes in the sky. They said it, they they chalked it up. Um, to war nerves is what they said, um, and they said that it was just uh, one artillery battery got a little freaked out, took a few shots, and then everybody else just joined in, and it just got crazy really quick. And they're like, "We apologize for the the false alarm." Crazy thing. Mm. Uh, very next day, Army comes out with a report saying that there were five Japanese planes in the sky that night, and that is what they were shooting at, um, and so it was not a false alarm. And then 10 days later, a colonel from the Air Force comes out and says, oh, yeah, it wasn't Japanese military planes. They're Japanese commercial planes. They were flying over to scare us. Um, they wanted to freak us out. And then everybody was like, what, what is going on? <laughs> okay. So <clears throat> needless to say, the Battle of Los Angeles. Yeah, it actually wasn't a Japanese plane at all. It was one of those planes that has a little tail behind it that says, like, hey, come down to the beach this Saturday for a bit fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> and then the other, there's like five different planes, all right? One banner says, come down to the beach for a good time. The other one's like, free food, free games. The other one just says, big time fun, you know? <laughs> and they were like, we got to shoot these out of the sky right now, all right? <laughs> one, one of them, one of them, <laughs> turns out that they weren't advertising like the beach. There is a new nightclub on Hollywood Boulevard called the Beach, and the plane says, "Oh yeah, on Hollywood Boulevard." <laughs> on Hollywood Boulevard, people are, "Oh yeah, I saw the plane come down on Hollywood Boulevard." <laughs> it all makes sense now. Case closed. Um, and then one guy in the military got freaked out, and he was like, "What? what? Nightclubs? Wow!" <laughs> <laughs> Just shot it out of the sky. Yeah. Um, no, that's not that's not what happened. Uh, that's oh, it's a theory. We don't actually know. <laughs> all right, fair, that's fair. We'll chalk it up to one of the theories. Well, I heard the colonel say it. <laughs> he was like, "Oh yeah, that was that was like just normal planes, big time." <laughs> yeah, that was a mistake. <laughs> big time, <laughs> little time, uh, uh, small time, <laughs> average time. <laughs> Oh, I've thought about making a rap video. Uh, I think it'd be really funny to do a, uh, you know, because I've been listening to, to, to quite a bit of rap music lately. It seems like the common theme is that rappers just think they're the best. Yeah. They're the best rapper. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. And so they're just like, I'm better than all of these other idiots. All right. Yeah. I want to make a rap that's just like, I'm completely average. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like the whole thing. It's like I hop in my Honda Civic. And so. I actually ironically saw the suburbs. an ad today. You know those ads for those those dudes who sell on Amazon? They want to sell you how yeah. you can sell on Amazon. How you can make six figures yeah, and, and they do got, nothing. They got their Lamborghini in their garage with their library of books that they read because they're yeah. so intelligent. Here's my rental receipt. <laughs> yeah. I saw one today where they like swung the pendulum like somehow this was going to make me trust them. And they were like, they were like, what's up? 
I'm in an alleyway in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania oh, yeah, with I did my see Volkswagen. That. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, because I sell stuff on Amazon and I can live a great life. But it's not, I'm not going to rent a Lamborghini and try to sell something to you that's a lie. He's like, but I got a nice Volkswagen and it's pretty good. And here's the keys. They work. And he like turns the car and he's like, showed you. And like, it seriously was like eight minutes long. I watched the whole thing because... What? <laughs> <laughs> It was like eight minutes long, and uh, I didn't have anything else to do at my job, so I just watched it, you know? I was like, man, how do I get a nice blue Volkswagen like that? How can I, too, get a car that gets 16 miles the gallon and looks like what a child would draw a car to look like? How can I get that life? Also, the guy's wearing a flat bill, right? I think I've seen that yeah. same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, how can I? How can I? be like that guy man all it takes is an amazon <laughs> membership and a uh gift card to lids <laughs> gift card to lids. <laughs> and all of a sudden <laughs> all of a sudden i'm like him yeah yeah so that was anyways so uh <laughs> yeah why'd you tell that story <laughs> i don't remember <laughs> It was about the Amazon people, <laughs> but he was just like, yeah, check out my Volkswagen. <laughs> but it was average. That's how I brought it, it up. Yeah, it yeah, average. Yeah. It was average. Yeah. He was like, I'm totally normal. Yeah, he's like, I'm just like you. So if you want to spend a lot of money on my course. But then I watched that and I go, my car's life. a little better than that. So yeah. like if I start selling on Amazon, am I going to downgrade? Am I gonna or? Go down? Like, what, if, what am yeah, I My life's really here. got a spiral. <laughs> um, so anyways, so. Uh, the Battle of Los Angeles obviously is something that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. And there's not a good explanation for why it happened. But what I want to do is I want to look at some of the theories about what actually happened. Um, before we do that, though, I want to look is at... Is Giant Owls a theory? Uh, it is, yeah. Good. Um, <laughs> before, <laughs> before we look at the theories, though, I want to look at everything that we know actually happened yes. in the Battle of Los Angeles. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that, was a, that wasn't a hypothetical. Was... Oh, sorry. Uh, ask okay. me in a way of like, are you ready? Are you ready? Big time. <laughs> uh, so uh, on December 7th, 1941, um, was Pearl Harbor. You might have heard that. Heard of yeah. that. Um, and so that was uh, the next day America enters World War II. Big deal. Big time. <laughs> Big yeah. time deal um, for America. And so then everybody along the west coast of the united states was kind of freaking out at that point sure because they all thought oh they're gonna come attack the uh the that mainland would make sense. next yeah yeah and so at all, every city along the west coast was freaking out and they had good reason to because of the attack and then also uh from that point forward merchant ships from the u.s kept getting attacked by uh japanese destroyers and so like it was seriously almost a weekly occurrence um, after World War or after uh, Pearl Harbor, uh, that, that these ships were getting that these hit. ships were getting attacked. Uh, also, uh, this <clears throat> um, this aircraft carrier pulls up along the coast of Alaska outside Juneau and just kind of posts up there for a couple weeks. And everyone was like, "What are they? What are, what's uh, what's happening here? Are you guys yeah. doing something?" Uh, and there was like <laughs> small <laughs> the people of Alaska are like, "Can we help you?" Or is there, like, do you need something? Or is this, just, wow, this is pretty tense. <laughs> so, um, and they ended up not. They thought they were going to raid Juno. Juno was in a blackout for months um, because they were like worried that they're like, if we turn off your lights, then they can't see. <laughs> <laughs> Juno, you can turn off your lights. <laughs> I didn't like it. I didn't want to say it, but I also it's kind of like a sneeze where you go. I have to say it. I have to say it. This, if I don't let this come if out, I, yeah. it's gonna come out really awkwardly. It's gonna be um, like, you know, you know, like yeah. It's gonna come out later when I'm at the gas station <laughs> and, and like I like, walk in and I'm trying to say, hey, can I have twenty on this pump? And I end up going like, Do you know, I want twenty. And then it's like it's and uh, like. All right, man. They're like, dude, are you okay? And I'm like, mm -hmm. I've got a button right here, and the cops will come to need me to push it. <laughs> the ambulance comes. They take me off to the hospital. You know, I'm afraid of needles, so now they're stabbing me, and I'm just terrified. All right, and then I wake up and I realize it was all a dream. <laughs> you know, so I wake up. I'm laying there, realize it's a dream, and I go, do no. Yeah, <laughs> or I wake up and I'm no longer in this simulation with our weird bodies. All right. <laughs> 
I'm like just back into the normal world. You're like, what? Oh. So anyway. All right. Uh, so people in Alaska were freaked out. People in Alaska were freaked out. They turned off their lights, which is also what families do at Halloween. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) We're like, like, oh, no, I'm real scared of that We don't want anyone to know we're here. Oh, (laughs) yeah. Turn the lights off. Yeah, yeah. You know, kids. You don't got anything you want. Kids dressing up as the Paw Patrol. (laughs) 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 I don't need that satanic ritual near my neighborhood. Yeah. Don't let them know we're here. Yeah. Instead of a bowl of candy, I'm going to leave a bowl of pamphlets about Jesus. (laughs) Right? (laughs) Maybe read it. Uh, But I, I, I didn't know this either. After... Uh, so the aircraft carrier left from camping outside Juneau. Yeah. And then they like occupied a couple Alaskan islands. Like they just invaded and they built, they set up camps on these islands. Oh. Nobody told me that either. And um, they're still there. <laughs> yeah. They're still hanging Those out. Those Japanese holdouts. Yeah, they're holding out. Uh, uh, they set up. Anyways. Uh, so <laughs> uh, we've made several callbacks to previous episodes. Today. Yeah. If you don't, if you don't watch our previous episodes, podcast, then you're really confused. Yeah. About, what we think is so funny. Um, <laughs> uh, They're confused about what we think is so funny anyway. <laughs> They're just like, this is not... I all right, weird. I'm all over the place like, today. Sorry. 200 views? What? Yeah, people um, are like, why? Who? Who's who, listening to this? 200? Uh, <laughs> actually, I already knew about the battle. Of the- <laughs> uh, right. So, yeah, and then in... Uh, in uh, off the coast of San Francisco, there was rumors that there was another aircraft carrier cruising around there. Yeah, and those got so tense that they like shut down everything in Oakland for a few days. Like all businesses and all school schools were ordered to be closed for a few days because it was so tense. In Seattle, uh, they would do blackouts. They were they were doing blackouts because same type of stuff. They thought that there was. Um, a cruiser off the coast that yeah. was coming to to attack the city, and they ordered a citywide blackout. And it was so intense. Um, like, and the way the blackouts worked, if you left your lights on for your business or for your home at night or even your car, you could be like delivered a pretty hefty fine. Yeah. But there, the hysteria was so rampant that there was a report of one uh, one dude left his lights on at his business one night, and a mob of two thousand people like stormed in and just destroyed everything. Like, broke out his windows, smashed everything in his store, like just completely wrecked it. Just because he forgot to turn the light off. Yeah, because he didn't turn it off. That's actually, off. when I was a kid, I would leave my bedroom light on all the time. My dad did the same thing. <laughs> he was like, dude, I've told you to turn this light off. And he'd just come in. <laughs> just With 2,000 of your Yeah, 2,000 of his close personal friends whose birthdays he knows. <laughs> and they would walk in a different room generation. And just start smacking stuff. Yeah. They'd fly over our house at night with a banner that just said, turn the lights off, you know. Well, I couldn't see it because the lights were off, you know. So... It was pretty rough. So I started shooting it out of the sky, and then all of a sudden, here we are. <laughs> so so the situation's really tense in, yeah, in the West Coast yeah. right now. People, People are, are freaking, freaking out. out. People are totally freaking out. And then um, three days before the Battle of Los Angeles, there was a uh, Japanese submarine surfaced off the coast uh, just a few miles outside of, outside of L.A., north of L.A. Oh, yeah. Um, and it, like, bombarded this military installment didn't really do much damage. It was only like five hundred dollars of damage, and so uh, they did it for a while though, and then eventually they left. And so everyone was like, "Well, that was a mission failure on their part." Um, and they just we just all started <laughs> mocking them. <laughs> We're like, "Oh, well, that was uh, oh mission failed, you idiots!" <laughs> Poor right. Japanese, yeah, fail. Oh, <laughs> damn, they're all, yeah. you try to come over here to L.A. and like he's just like, oh, but all you did was five hundred dollars of damage. Come on, if you're gonna hit us, hit us hard, dude. We hit that guy who kept his lights on harder than that. Like we caused a lot more damage. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll tell you what. You you service that submarine, you're fine. But you service that submarine with a light on, we'll just take you out, dude. It's a blackout. So the prevailing thought Start taunting them. was that, hey, they they didn't do a great job with this last attack. They're going to come again. They're going to come again. They're going to hit a bigger target. And yeah. so everyone was like, that's L.A. Like, they're, they're about to attack L.A. People in L.A. think that for sure. <laughs> people in LA go, we're the big target. We're the big you target, know? yeah. And so people all along the West Coast were really, like, freaking out. Yeah. And L.A. It was even more so because they, they had this idea that the Japanese were about to attack them. Yeah. And so on the afternoon of February 24th, uh, Radar picked up quite a few uh, planes over the coast, o- over the Pacific Ocean. Yeah. Um, pretty far out, but they couldn't get in, uh, uh, any identification from them. Mm. Um, they had attempted to make radio contact. They didn't hear anything. So they alerted the military in all the installments all along the West Coast 
hey, they're, it, within, they're the coming. Next time, within the next 10 hours, it's likely that there will be an attack on the West Coast. Yeah. Um, they thought it's so serious that they warned the public. They told the public, hey, go home, uh, go into your shelters, turn the lights off, like everything shut down. Yeah. Um, there's an attack imminent, basically. And so <clears throat> everyone's like fears were realized. <laughs> like everything that we thought was happening is actually about to happen. Yeah. Um, at about 10 p.m. that night, um, they lost all, or at 7 p.m., they lost all contact with uh, the radar. Like they didn't see any of those planes on radar anymore. They just disappeared off radar. Um, and then at 10 p.m., they issued an all clear. They said, okay, um, they're not here anymore. I think we're safe. Well, then again, at about 2 a.m., um, something was seen visually in the sky uh, that they thought might be an enemy plane. And so they were tracking it. They kept an eye on it. And then at about 3 o'clock in the morning, they gave the green light to all of the artillery batteries. And said, you so it's just, I, it, it, feels, it seems like maybe this is a situation where, like, my mom, during tornado yes. season, uh, will walk outside, point at a cloud, a normal cloud, and she'll go, I see rotation, you know, and yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. you're like, no, you don't. Uh, but it, I mean, it, it makes sense if people are like, if they're warning the public and they're like, hey, mm -hmm. like there's probably going to be serious. an attack. Yeah. yeah like, then it would make sense for someone to be like, I see something in the sky. Yeah. It was like they were in a tornado watch. Um, nothing on the ground, but everyone was watching for it. All right, I want to leave. Okay. Whatever. I, I was just expanding on your analogy. It was the next logical step whatever bro um <laughs> big time um <laughs> okay <laughs> so at so then they sounded the air raid sirens ordered another blackout and said okay. everybody shut shut everything down we're under attack basically they gave the green light um and then about a half an hour after they sounded the alarms to hit the blackout someone opened fire one of the artillery batteries opened fire. The searchlights turned on. The searchlights all converged on one spot in the sky, and every artillery batter, uh, artillery battery in the county was just blasting in that one section of the sky, just like unloading. <laughs> yeah, every fifty cal machine yeah. on the ground, like everybody was just unloading in that one spot. In yeah, the sky. Um, for about an hour and a half, maybe a little over that, until and they didn't think maybe this plane moved. <laughs> <laughs> so like that one spot. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure they moved with. I feel like the the pilots <laughs> of the plane, enemy or not, see all the searchlights go up in one spot, and they go, "I should probably avoid that spot. <laughs> I should get out of that. I should. I should not go there." <laughs> Seems like everyone's shooting at that one spot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair. Um, and so. <laughs> Clearly, it wasn't in one spot the whole time. Well, I you didn't say that. <laughs> that wasn't they clear to me. Right. That was like, oh, they just they just all converged in one spot and they just shot it there for hours. <laughs> what? <laughs> and one of the city was like, man, it's crazy that these idiots chose one spot to be in. Yeah, don't those planes move? Like, yeah. why are they sitting still? Um, no, yeah. So they just unloaded. 1400 rounds like that blows my mind yeah um and then when the sun came up they were like yep it's gone so <laughs> just stop shooting because we can see the whole sky now <laughs> and we know there's nothing up there turns out that that spot was clear <laughs> be Pretty completely much. surrounded by planes but that one spot was clear we're like all right all clear we're turn good. the sirens off we're good everybody go out there you're good uh yeah and so people uh were probably awake the whole time. It was pretty loud. But then they woke up in the morning and walked outside, <laughs> and they found uh, no damage, no plane crashes, at least supposedly. And it, government posters all around the city <laughs> that just said, you saw nothing, you heard nothing. <laughs> and shells everywhere. Just, yeah. Just these shells. No damage. Like, oh, look at these coffee tumblers that we have now. <laughs> um. So that's pretty much all we really know. We and then we have the reports from yeah, and we have like theories. The, the Navy, the Army, and the Air Force, respectively, that all conflict one another. And there was no the best. no attempt to rectify the yeah. The conflict. they were like, what they're story did like, you tell the public? <laughs> and they're like, oh, we said nothing happened. They're like, oh yeah, me me too. I yeah, said, that's what I said. That's I what said. I said. I'm glad like, glad we're on the same page. <laughs> 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 C 
Colonel, what did you say? And he was like, ah, oh, man. Uh, well, I may have let out a little more details. <laughs> I might have said a little more than, than nothing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what does that mean? I don't, you know. I talked a bit about Oof. the owls. Uh, I, like, well, you mentioned the owls. <laughs> like, we got, we got to figure something out now. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's pretty much all we know. Uh, and so I want to take a look f- for a little bit now at all of our theories about what happened. Please. There's some great ones. Um, yeah. First theory uh, doesn't go too deep. Uh also denies a lot of other information that we have. Uh, <laughs> also, it doesn't look at facts at all. But this theory is that all of it was real. The 200 planes in the sky, the, the battle, the crashes, everything was real. Um, and any attempt to say otherwise is an attempt to cover up like a battle that happened on American soil. That's really where the theory begins and ends. Super simple. Okay, but like that doesn't explain anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Okay. That's my point. Um, all 200 planes were shot down in LA and we found all of them. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we got them all. Um, yeah. So, also, if you're going to say 200 planes flew over LA yeah. and our military shot 1,400 rounds into the sky and only got five of them, like that is, that's really not good. That's pretty bold. That's pretty bad. Yeah. That's pretty big time bad. Now the Japanese were taunting us. <laughs> yeah, they were like, ha. They were like, ha, yeah, see, you're not should, good at this either. Failure, you was. $500 <laughs> worth of damage. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Their plates cost $100 a pop. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even make it over the ocean. <laughs> there might have been 200 planes, but 195 of them just nosedived into the ocean. Um, yeah, so that's that's theory number one. One, uh, theory number two. <laughs> Hated that. Theory number two is that is it comes off of that theory from the colonel, what the colonel of the air force said, um, yeah. and that was that it was Japanese commercial flights that they sent over just just to, to spread panic, just yeah. to freak people out. And this is interesting to me, um, mostly because I just picture the Japanese government coming to uh, Japanese Southwest Airlines and saying, "Hey, picture this." You just fly over L.A. and everybody freaks the heck out. Yeah. Want to do that? <laughs> now, I have a question about the plan here. Uh, so when you fly over L.A., are the yeah. snacks still free? Uh, because, like, that's a long flight so, just yeah, to taunt just, them. Just to get over there. Well, I'll tell you, I'm tired of them making fun of us for this submarine thing. <laughs> yeah, okay? it's been three days that I'm really sick of it. How many bags can we bring? Because <laughs> uh, normally we can we, we check one for free. I want to bring two. I want to check two for free. I want it to be a full flight of passengers, too. <laughs> yeah, like, if we're going to get shot down, I want it to be big time. Big time. <laughs> like, okay. Yeah, so that's that's uh, theory number two. That they just used private companies. Yeah, they were private commercial flights that just were like, yeah, let's just go fly around over LA for a little bit. I like the idea out. that maybe there were actually people flying back from somewhere and they were going to land in LA. But then the pilots were flying back into LA and people started shooting and it is like Southwest Airlines or something. And they're like, oh, crap. <laughs> and they just kept flying. Um, uh, this this theory actually does have a step deeper theory. Um, so two B theory to B is um, that the commercial Japanese airlines. It had a secret commercial airfield in Mexico that they used to send these planes to freak the people of LA out. Uh, and that's all they ever used the airfield for. <laughs> Again, LA people who just think that the world revolves around them. They're just like, you know what they did? All right, they partnered with Mexico. They they, they teamed up with those that Mexico. We'll build, we'll build the wall. They built the wall. Oh my gosh! Okay, <laughs> just to fly right over it. So don't they have a wall in Japan? They wanted to put one in Mexico nope, too. <laughs> You know that those are different, right? You know that China and Japan are different places. Well, surely they got a wall in Japan, well, too. Surely they, a, surely they have a wall. Surely they have a big time wall in Japan. I, remember, I heard that the one in China was based off the one in Japan. Stop. <laughs> it's a sequel. It's a sequel. It's a sequel. Okay. <laughs> Oh man, this is out of control. Okay, uh, so that was two B. 
to be. We'll move on to three. Uh, Which the, to be is also the seat <laughs> that someone was sitting in on the commercial flight. <laughs> Everyone's like, "Wait, I thought we, I thought it was just going to Disney. What's going on?" I was on? back when you could smoke on planes still too, and they were just having a grand old time. <laughs> They're like, "I can't tell if this is from my." Did you say that? What did you say? They thought they were going to Disney. Yeah, the guy's like, "I thought it was going to Disney." <laughs> yeah, I thought it was going to Disney. Thirteen years in the future when Disney opens, because <laughs> it's 1942 right now. <laughs> Disney doesn't open until 55. They had the studio. He was going to tour the studio. Was what he was doing. Okay, he was early. He was, and that's when Walt Disney figured out people would travel to see this. That's what sparked it. Got it. The whole thing was just some guy looking to see, come to see Disney Studios. Yeah. And that's when Walt was like, hmm, all of this, just because someone wants to see my studio? Walt was like, as long as we keep that one spot in the sky clear, <laughs> then I think we're safe. I think we're good. Um, so uh, the other theory, a uh, very similar theory, was that uh, it was commercial flights, but they were American commercial flights. The yeah, that's what I'm saying. I like the idea flights, that yeah. I, I like the idea that they were just coming home. Yeah, Spirit mm-hmm. Airlines <laughs> just flying home, and, and those pilots like, do God. not care. <laughs> and I was like, those guys, like, hold right. on, stop. Yeah, <laughs> stop it. They're um, like, bro, that's yeah. how they talk over official <laughs> airlines. <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro, guys, you're being real not cool. Listen, right I've now. had a few to drink tonight. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. All right, but I'm flying. I'm but not I'm driving. I'm flying a plane right <laughs> now. Do you, do you know those Spirit Airlines pilots are <laughs> out of it? Yeah, you got a lot more room to drift in a plane than a car, so it's fine. Yeah. Um, well, lanes. <laughs> you don't need roads. You don't need roads where we're going. <laughs> uh, they quoted that pilot quoted, years yeah. later. Yeah. Um, in the incredible. classic film. Um, so. But that one kind of falls apart because you're like, well, why didn't they get on their radio and say, hey, stop shooting at hey. us? <laughs> hey, y'all. Hey, if you could stop doing this thing where you try to shoot us out of the sky. Yeah. That'd be helpful. Um, here's another one. Uh, this one's one that is actually kind of interesting to me is that there were planes, but there was only about five of them, Japanese warplanes. Okay. But they were scouting the West Coast for military installments for a future raid of the West Coast. Got it. And so they were flying at a high altitude, scouting the area for where artillery batteries might be located and different other installments so they would know where the weak points were and then what they would need to go take out to get uh, planes to be able to cross over that west coast. Yeah. Uh, which I think is pretty viable um, because then it's believable that it's like, oh, middle of the night, I mean, now you're like, okay, only five planes at high altitude. I see how they could miss now. Um, right. And I see how... Um, this could have all started and not just been someone be like, yeah, yeah, nothing freaked out. Yeah, yeah. Like I could see that one. Sure. Um, but again, there's uh, this, this one falls apart because, um, years later, uh, in the eighties, the U S government came back to kind of do a full report on the battle of Los Angeles and talk about what really happened that day. Sure. In, in that report, they said that there was no record of any Japanese, um, uh, planes. Uh, planes ever flying over the United States during the whole World War. And that was substantiated by the Japanese government who came out and were like, yeah, we we didn't do that. We never flew over the United States during the whole World War. Um, and so that starts to make this like... Well, also, a- everyone started getting their story straight a little bit. Yeah. They everyone, were like, what did you tell? Like, what did you say? Yeah. Okay. They had like 30 years to figure this out. They're like, okay. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's straighten this up. They're like, the people who were alive then are old. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're going to buy the story. All right. Uh, um, are we still going with the owls thing? <laughs> oh, we're going to scrap let's, that. Let's move away from the owl thing. Okay. We're saying no planes at all. No planes. Yeah, um, yeah it, well, that's what's interesting to me about it is like I could kind of see that like the possibility of this being some sort of military cover up, right? Sure. But, but why would they start cover to it put up, in though? two governments covering something up? Yeah, then it's like that gets really, really thick. This is going to have to be like a thick conspiracy if they're both like saying the same right, thing. Right, right, right. So, so it starts to get a lot less likely to me that anything's getting covered up when Japan's coming in and saying, no, we didn't fly over either. So then you start having to look at other things that are outside of Japan um, to be your explanation for what happened here. Um, so explanation number five that came out was uh, there were a couple flares launched at one of the artillery um, batteries uh, for whatever reason. They needed someone to bring some supplies or come check on them, whatever sure. they needed. 
and somebody saw that flare from another battery and mistook it for a plane, took the shot, and then everyone else was like, oh, we're shooting, and just was like, right. I mean, it seems like whatever happened, somebody took the first shot, and everyone else is just kind of like. Everyone else is like, oh, we should do that too, huh? Right, (laughs) right, and that makes sense to me. Yeah, that makes total sense, especially you look at what the that first um, Navy report the day of, what he said, he said something really interesting. He said that um, uh, once the firing started, imagination created all kinds of targets in the sky and everyone right. joined in. Um, not to mention the shells exploding in the air being lit up by their searchlights. They, these plumes of smoke from underneath could look, could resemble a plane. Um, right. So they're shooting at these puffs of smoke that they put in the sky at that point. Um, and so that's why so many people were like, oh, there was 200 planes up there because they're just seeing Right, because they're seeing all this all, smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it starts to get really deceiving really, really quickly. Um, <clears throat> and so that one's uh, sort of believable. Um, but the one that the U.S. government has stuck with, here's the one that they, they claim, is it was a weather balloon. Um, and so they had a specific... Um, artillery battery that daily would launch these weather balloons up in the air to check the weather so they could get an accurate idea of where to fire their weapons and how the wind was moving, whatever. Um, And so they, on a smart turn of events, decided uh, (laughs) um, when everybody's really freaked out right after this blackout where this attack was imminent, they're like, let's throw this weather balloon up there. Yeah. Um, That's like people who fly drones now. Yeah. They're just like, oh, let's get some good footage. Yeah. (laughs) Let's get some good footage of this blackout. Yeah. Um, and so they launched this weather balloon up there right after the, the blackout. Someone sees the weather balloon, shoots thinks it. it's a plane, shoots it, and then everyone else joins in. That's what they, they went with. And that's why there was n- you couldn't find any shrapnel because this weather balloon got freaking obliterated Yeah, uh, from the 1,400 shells fired at it. I like the idea that maybe there was just a child <laughs> out Wait, like, on a <laughs> walk with a balloon. <laughs> yeah, you like, know? Oh, no. And you know how kids are. They suck, right? <laughs> and they can't hold on to balloons, you know? <laughs> Because kids are the worst. And they're just out here. They're like, I've got this balloon. Someone graced me with this wonderful thing that I love. Uh, and I'll just let it go because I have tiny hands and cannot, you know. Tiny hands. Yeah. You, you know, know how kids are with You know how hands, kids suck. Bad fingers. You know? <laughs> yeah. They're big time awful, you know. And, like, they're, like, they've always got, like, weird. Like, they've always just got their spit on their hands for some reason. Like, they're just constantly just. They walk blah, out of the blah, house. Blah. Blah. Yeah. That's all they're doing. All day. They're Slip terrible. Fingers. And so a balloon just could easily just, just slip out. Flutter away. All right. He's watching his balloon then, float away. Yeah. And he's like, oh no. And then the military oh. shoots the balloon. <laughs> and that's when he realizes I've made a mistake. <laughs> all right. And he freaks out, runs back home. Spoiler, he lives upstairs at that place that the guy left his lights on, all right? He comes home, people are raiding his house. Now he blames himself for World War II. He grows up, okay? And this is not a good childhood. He's like six when this happens, okay? He was born in 1936, okay? So now, at this point in time, he is 83 years old. 2019, 83 years old, still blames himself for America's involvement in World War II. Can you imagine carrying around that guilt, that my shame for a long time? Yeah. Still, his hands are so small because, like, they never grew. Because he's so ashamed. He's so ashamed that his hands are just so. He's an 83 year old man with tiny hands, and he tiny can kid hands. Oh, they're covered in slime. And on his deathbed, he's laying there in the hospital, and people bring balloons, and he feels like they're taunting him. Okay, and it's like, get these balloons out of here. And someone opens the window to let the balloons out. He's like, no, 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 not out not there. That. Stab him. Get out. He's a like, He's afraid of balloons for the rest of his life. All right, that's what I think happened. <laughs> I think you're right. I think that that's accurate. That's theory number four, right? Theory number, that's, well, we're was, on like seven now. No, that was theory number whatever. Yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty accurate to what actually yeah. happened, I think. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, cool. But here's where this this one kind of falls apart to me, honestly, um, for a couple of reasons. Let me give you a couple of them. Okay. Um, one, it just seems like a really bad time to launch that weather balloon. And I feel yeah. like most people would be like, I they feel wouldn't like, have done it. I feel like, they would kind of like have an eye eye on that weather balloon because the reason they launched it was so they could know what the weather was doing. So they're like watching it. And then when someone shoots it with artillery, they're like, hey, uh, you just shot my weather balloon. Could you stop? Um, right. But that everyone been was, known. Yeah. The, but the people at that artillery rider was like, crap, they just shot our balloon. We should start shooting over there too. Like it just doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. Um, because it was it was an artillery battery that launched it. I feel like someone there would be like, hey, this is you know, we we did this. Can we all stop? Yeah. Um, 
especially for how long the barrage lasted, like hours. Like it, it's one thing if it was like a few shots in the air and then it stopped. I'm like, okay, they notified everyone. Hey, this is, but like this is like, like this is like when like uh, you like make a mistake and like someone calls you the wrong name and like they're like hey tom and like you don't correct them and it's like 13 years later and they're still, and they're calling, still calling yeah you tom. and you just and now and like and like you've legally changed your name <laughs> yeah, you're like, to like match what their mistake was because <laughs> exactly. you don't want them to feel uncomfortable and you're just like i can't i can't fix this and one of your childhood friends is there with you and like oh his name's tom and tim and you're like no no, it's it's no, Tom. it's Tom, you idiot! Not, like, you, don't you remember me? You don't remember like, me? I know it's been like twenty. years. I know we were but... kids then. Your brain wasn't fully developed. <laughs> your brain was really small and slobbery. But let me show you my license. It says Tom. It says Tom, and it's just like scratched out on the license too. It's not even like actually printed on there. It's just scratched it's out white with out. a sharpie. Like I can see the whiteout peeling underneath that, and you're like giving him this face with your look. Like, dude, if you if you call <laughs> if me Tim one more time. Me- I'm gonna I, have to kill you. I'm going to kill. I'm going to freaking kill you. I'm gonna leave you in a ditch. My name is Tom. That's I'm gonna kinda, tie you to a water balloon. <laughs> a water balloon. A weather balloon. I'm gonna tie you to a water balloon. Tie you to a water balloon. I'm gonna throw it at a kid in our neighborhood, and you're gonna be the wittest because <laughs> you were a part There's of the balloon. Drenched. I'm going to drown you inside a water balloon. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> My name is Tom. You call me Tom from now on. <laughs> Your wife comes in. Hey, Tim. Go! No! <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Yeah, so it's one of those situations. Yeah, I get it. I understand now. I fully get it. Yeah. No, but yeah, so that, that doesn't make sense to me. But then, if we shift shift over to those casualties again, yeah. here's where here's Five where my people. mind starts turning. Um, <laughs> here's where my yeah, here's where the wheels just start I get, going. I get the heart attacks. It was a very traumatic experience yeah. for everyone in Los Angeles at the time. But the car wrecks. But the car wrecks. This is what doesn't make sense to me. Um, it is uh, three o'clock in the morning. Yeah. The night of a blackout. Yeah. So up until about ten thirty that night, they were in a blackout, a mandated blackout. All. All lights in cars, street lights, houses, businesses had to be off, like legally, or you'd face this fine. And so, what bothers me is that in 1940, in this, in this very like war frenzied America, after there was already a blackout, who is going out and driving at three o'clock in the morning? Right during this like. During the barrage, like it, you they crashed because of the barrage, and so I'm just like, who was out there to get in those car accidents? Yeah, and so that's where I'm like, I don't think those were car accidents. Yeah, I, I, I don't think so. I think the planes landed on the roads, right? And they were trying to drive through the streets, but spoiler, planes can't fit on streets. <laughs> <all right? laughs> And then there's too dark. The planes are panicking. It's like, oh, no, they spotted us. And the two planes ran into each other. All right? <laughs> they spotted us. So you see a Japanese plane and a Japanese plane, and they just T-bone each other. All right? <laughs> Big fat plane T-bone. <laughs> Big time. Big time. <laughs> Big time plane T-bone. Yeah. The other, one, the other one was just he was a drunk <clears throat> driver. Plus, uh, plus, this was a Tuesday night. Like, on so it's Tuesday? not like it, it's not like it's like a Friday night where people are going out. Yeah, like it's a Tuesday night. Who's out at three o'clock in the morning to begin with? Especially after okay. there's a blackout. But early. think about how big the city is. Yes. there's only three people out. But it's it's in the 40s, so the population was significantly smaller in the 40s. Okay, and it is a Tuesday night, so I mean everybody's got to work in the morning. And then you had that blackout earlier in the day. Everybody thought they were getting attacked by the Japanese. They're scared. They're nervous. They're not over that. Like, it's well, just my seems- thought is like maybe they were out when the blackout was happening, and then when it was all clear, they left to go home. And it took them what? What, what would that be from ten to three a.m.? Like, what is that? Like eight yeah. hours? Well, when the street lights Five are hours. off, <laughs> you know, they turned it back on when the blackout. Ended. Oh, really? And then there was a re blackout at 3 a.m. So you're driving, all the lights turn off. Suddenly, you don't even know what landmarks to turn out anymore. I, I, I just think it's incredibly unlikely. I could see one car accident. Sure. I could maybe even see two, but three is where I draw the line. Maybe they were out looking for people with their lights on. 
They're like, hey, I gotta go they're like, sack I, the people. They're who the neighborhood the watch. <laughs> And they're out here like, I'm going to go freaking burn down some houses, which is going to create a lot more light. The whole than- thing just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. And then plus you you throw on top of, add on top of the whole scenario that th- what is going on. And yeah, there's some hysteria, some people who might be freaking out. Sure. But I feel like they shouldn't have all the out. lights are out. All the lights are out. Um, so you nobody, think nobody's three out. people you know are responsible for this. You thing, might then? be driving a little like you're, you're more cautious. You're not going 90 miles an hour down Hollywood Boulevard. True. Like, y- or you are because no one's out. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. Also, I just think, do did cars go that fast then? <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, but I just think three car accidents at three o'clock in the morning. So that's in six LA, people then, at least, right? Yeah, yeah. In, in LA, well, well yeah, they could have they gotten in a crash yeah. on their own. Um, uh, in in LA. In the at three o'clock in the morning on a Tuesday night, right after there was already a blackout when they thought they were getting attacked by the Japanese, there's just a lot of factors that make that seem very unlikely to me. What do you is think my is point. happening? Well, I'm glad you asked. Um, <laughs> I have this theory uh, that there was 200 owls. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> and they were just diving into people's cars. <laughs> I have this theory about Ooh. 200 kamikaze owls, all right? <laughs> and they are just dripping in. Hey, Grandpa, can you tell me about the Battle of Los Angeles? I've never heard a sound that terrifying in my life. Oh, he goes, he goes, <laughs> Grandpa, can you tell me about the Battle of Los Angeles? Who? <laughs> the, no, not who, who, what, the battle. I'm trying to tell I you. Did. Shut up. I'm who? trying to tell you about the battle. <laughs> all right. First of all, my friend Tom. Let go of a balloon. <laughs> Suddenly, I look in the sky. There's 200 owls above us. All right, I see some people driving around. They're going at least 90 miles an hour. Right? I'm thinking this is all irresponsible. All right, I start firing. Three o'clock in the morning. You have work in the morning. What are you it's doing? Three a.m. I'm still at my job. All right, I had gone outside. <laughs> I'd gone outside for a cigarette, even though we all smoked inside at the time. <laughs> But I just wanted to get some. But I just wanted to get some air. <laughs> I saw the owls above me, and I thought, "This is bad. <laughs> this is weird. This is big time bad. <laughs> big time bad." I used to say that all the time. BTB. BTB. <sighs> big time bad. Um, yeah. So there's that theory. <laughs> um, no, the a large theory these days, which I can't say is a theory that I subscribe to. I'm honestly going to say I don't think there's a theory that I think is sufficient. Okay. Um, I think the one that I could probably get behind the most is that there was a plane in the sky. I don't know whose it was, whether it was American, commercial, private. I don't know. Free someone out. People, yeah. And then it just like t- t- tumbled and got out of control. Um, <clears throat> there's another theory, though, um, and I think we all know that this was coming, um, but it was <laughs> aliens. <laughs> The theory is that I think we <laughs> all knew that this next one was about to take place, but uh, oh man, have you heard of the movie Battle of Los Angeles? Because it's got 36 percent on Rotten Tomatoes, but 100 percent in reliable facts, okay? Because that is what happened. Um, the, and this Do you all- think the aliens chose a time when the world was all at chaos with each other that they were like, this is our time to sneak into the chaos? <laughs> This is the perfect opportunity. Um, so here's here's obviously people think aliens are involved. There's always going to be always, somebody. Always anything that has to do with the sky and a question, <laughs> aliens are part of it. <laughs> um, I mean, am I wrong? How are clouds form? <laughs> mm, well, gather around. It's probably aliens. Um, so uh, here here's where this idea can- comes from. Uh, for the biggest, the biggest thing is this picture that came from the Battle of Los Angeles, which you might have seen this before. It's a pretty iconic picture. We'll throw it on the screen. Here is what it looks like. Um, and so never seen this I've seen this before. before. It's all the searchlights pointing up in that, that one spot. You can see the explosions, and you can see oh. what looks like a little light right in the middle of that searchlight, the, where the searchlights are at. Right. It does look a little UFO-y. Yeah, like there's a little, little flying saucer right in the middle. Because lights create that effect. Um, yeah. Also, they severely retouched this photo to make everything in it stand out. 
um, before they produced it. Uh, and that is like documented that they did that. Um, and so everyone's like, yeah, UFO, there's a flying saucer there. Duh. Um, Obviously. But it was kind of, they elaborated on it. And it's, it's interesting. It's, it's viable. Um, <laughs> Because uh, it was unlikely that the Japanese had planes with the technology at the time sure. to have 200 planes uh, be detected on radar and then just be undetected and then fly in completely right. undetected into um, L.A. and then take over 1,400 rounds of artillery without a um, single casualty. A single, yeah, yeah. any damn, not even shrapnel, not even like they hit a wing and it fell off, like literally nothing. Yeah. Um, and so they're like, well, I mean, these had to be pretty technologically advanced for them to fly over without anything happening. And there were so many people, so many people who witnessed things in the sky um, that everyone's like, yeah, UFOs make a lot of sense. Um, and the more I talk about it, the more I'm like, I believe that. I'm pretty <laughs> sure it was aliens. <laughs> the more I've thought about it. Oh, uh, yep. <clears throat> yeah. Aliens. Yep. Definitely aliens. Um, so that, yeah, that uh, I mean, I choose to believe it's aliens. I okay, it's more interesting. Than sure, anything else than a weather balloon. Than a weather balloon. Yeah. Well, and speaking of that, I guess there's a, a, a B and C to theory number. What are we on? Oh, eight, sure, sure, sure. Eight B and eight C um, are not that they were alien UFOs, but <clears throat> American and German UFOs, because it's now here. Let me let me tell you. Let me tell you. Uh, don't make that face. Listen to me. Um, oh, I'm uh, listening. Oh, well, hey, okay. Oh. So. <laughs> Um, we now know that both the United States and Germany in World War II were working on flying saucer type planes. Um, did you know that? <laughs> they both were. Um, Can we do the next episode on that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, maybe. Uh, so they, they both were like working on these planes that were like flying saucers. Uh, as far as we know, they never saw any real use, but there Except are. Except for on February 25th. <laughs> 1942, when 200 <laughs> flying saucers <laughs> raided LA. They were like, hey, let's sort of do the test flight. But they're like, let's go big time on this one. Big All right. Time. We've yeah. got 150 of them. Let's produce 50 more mm -hmm. and test them out and for the first test time. Them out. Let's just give it a shot. Um, yeah. And so they thought it was either the, the American prototype or the German prototype doing test flights, um, seeing if people in LA were going to notice them. Um, spoiler, they did. They noticed. <laughs> <laughs> I saw this. Somebody. Actually, <laughs> all seven spotlights found it right away. Found it real quick. Um, but they, they lost it, and they just kept shooting that one spot for an hour and a half. Um, another interesting theory uh, is that the government wanted to move all of their um, uh, military industries, so like their weapons factories, things like, of that nature, into further inland so that way they wouldn't be damaged sure. um, in the event of an air raid. Uh, but they were meeting some political issues with that. People didn't want their jobs to be moved away. Cities right. didn't want their revenue source to be mm. moved away. And so they weren't having success trying to move them. And so the theory is that it was all an elaborate setup. There was nothing in the sky. And the weather balloon was launched for that one artillery battery to, to have a target. Yeah. Um, and the reason why they didn't tell anyone is because they were doing that to elicit the hysteria. So that way there could so be, be like, let's move this away raid. from LA. That way this doesn't happen again. Exactly. Ah, that actually, that sounds mm -hmm. pretty. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. days later when the Colonel came out and he, he said, Hey, we're pretty sure that there were, these were five commercial planes flying over to scare us. Yeah. He said, I think it would be best for us to move all of our military industries further inland was his sketchy mm -hmm, 10 days after the fact sketchy uh and so this is one that i'm like ah man ah, this is, that's interesting what if hear me out i'm hearing the colonel talked to the aliens and was like what story are you saying because <laughs> i'm gonna say we should move the thing <laughs> now the real question is are these are these commercial alien flights <laughs> Here's the here's here hear me out hear me uh, out I'm, yes my thought is that Tom the kid you know with the sweaty hair <laughs> you know that the that hand, kid let the balloon go he talked to the aliens and he was like he was like my dad 
<laughs> he's, he's real southern. He's like, my he dad. Grew, grew up in California. He's <laughs> no, six no, no, years no, no, old. No, 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 no. And he's like, my dad. <laughs> he's like, my daddy, he had to move out here to build guns for the war. But we're out. <laughs> we're from the Tennessee. War. <laughs> we're from Tennessee. And I won't go no, home. No, that's like southern Georgia. <laughs> It's I want to. I want to go home. War. I want to go home, Floron. <laughs> I need your help. And Floron said, "Stop asking me these dumb questions. Just let, go, just let go. Of, let go of your balloon, Tom." And he's like, "Well, actually, it's actually it's, uh, it's Tom." <laughs> it's Tom. <laughs> That's how he let go of the balloon. <laughs> like the alien was like, like, let go of your balloon, Tom. He went, actually, oh no. <laughs> the Tom, the balloon, he had he had three balloons in his hand. It was a T, I, and Stop. M balloon. He had the, the letters. It was really trendy in the 40s. It came back. Everything does. And he, draw, he let go of the I. Uh, <laughs> that's really symbolic. <laughs> And to this day, the government's been searching for two and three because they thought it was a one, all right? They found the balloon. They were like, all right, there's one. There's got to be more than one. Okay, where's it at? Where's it at? There's at least 200 of these. There's 200. (laughs) Countless. There are four to countless balloons in the sky right now. We cannot do this. This just in. The president is coming on with a with an important announcement. It's like, well, I say, I don't, who was president at the time? Forty two is that Woodrow? I don't know. No, that's World War One. Who was I, I don't president? Forty two. Oh man, I know this. Oh man. Okay, there was one. Roosevelt. There was, yeah, he's president for a long time. Yeah, he broke the rules. He did. He made the rules different. So Roosevelt comes out there, and he's you know for this bit uh, southern. <laughs> 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 well, I say I saw my son out there, and he, uh, <laughs> you know, what's the what's the story they're going with? He comes out and he's like, "Citizens of the United States of America, that's pretty I good. come to you today, pretty good, with excellent news. Our teams have uncovered. It's changed. <laughs> it's changed. Our <laughs> teams great. have I'm uncovered. Not, I'm not great at ac- accents yet. I'm working on it. Our teams have uncovered." So like Bill Clinton. <laughs> 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 our teams have uncovered. Uh, uh, our teams have uncovered the infinity balloon. Oh my! We God. can officially stop looking for the balloons. We have them all. Back to your regular schedule programming. <laughs> yeah, the president <laughs> lets you go back to your register. <laughs> That's how he ended all of his speeches at the time. <laughs> People were really into TV. People were like, I don't want to watch this. Do we have a? Uh, can I? Can I just put a vinyl record on Franklin, the TV? And- I'm bored. <laughs> I'm bored, Franklin. <laughs> bored. Franklin. I like that they all call him Franklin. <laughs> oh, you know he's like, I'm Franklin D. Roosevelt, and the D stands for Daddy. And you're like, whoa, Franklin, you should calm down, man. <laughs> it's like. Oh man, it's pretty rough. <laughs> That's terrible. So it could have been a lot of things. Probably aliens. Mm-hmm. Most likely, a weather balloon is involved. Well, that's what the government wants you to. Well, say. that's what I'm saying. Like there probably was a weather balloon, whether it was just by accident up there or, or intentionally. It was Tom's balloon. <laughs> anyway, but is there anything else? No, yeah, I mean, that's that's the Battle of L.A. And it's I think the reason why we never hear about it is because no one really knows what happened or what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so they're like, uh, we should just not tell. We should just kind of just glaze Let's over just that. Just pretend it didn't happen. Yeah, but if you had to rate that historical event, uh, would you give it a thirty-six <laughs> percent? <laughs> I would probably give it a little higher than thirty-six. Oh, okay. It's at least as good as Hot Rod. Ah, it's true. So thirty nine. It had some, you know. It's the now the Battle of L.A. is not fun to watch. No, it's very it's quotable. Very, very quotable. <laughs> it's quotable. Here's a quote from the Battle of L.A. <laughs> Sounds like you're beatboxing. You were doing earlier. <laughs> here's a quote from. Here's a quote from the Battle of L.A. <laughs> Man, there's a lot of planes up there. <laughs> Big time. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a pentatonic song. <laughs> Big time. And there's like the guy who's like, boo, 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 boo. man, we should do an acapella group. <laughs> You're right. We should. That's good. Good. Bad idea. Call Big Tim. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry, it's Big Time. It's Big Tom. It's, e. oh, big t- uh, it's Big Tim. It's, it's big, big Tim. Tim. You're right. You're right. You're right. What's up, LA? We're Big Tim. How do you make fiddle noises with your mouth? I don't. What's the ending? Huh? Uh, well, how's the song go at the end? I don't. I don't know our own outro music. <laughs> Now you go first. Okay. Hey, thanks hey, for... Thanks for- <laughs> I knew you were going to do it. <laughs> thanks for watching Things I Learned Last Night. Uh, if you like this, please subscribe to the channel or check out some of our other videos. I did finger guns at the end. Freaking...